All right, so in this uh, session right now, we're going to be actually talking about how are we going to actually migrate data from other system into SAP. And it doesn't matter which system you're talking about. It doesn't matter who is your source system and what is the uh, actual version of the SAP system that you want to migrate to. So we want to migrate from a non-SAP system into SAP system. How are we going to do it? Let's say uh, like you have a legacy system like JD Edwards or you have uh, Oracle, okay, Microsoft Dynamic, you have uh, Sage, you have MS400. All these are legacy systems, respectful legacy systems that we always migrate from. So uh, now we want to migrate into SAP. It doesn't matter whether you want to migrate to SAP ECC uh, or you want to migrate into S4HANA. The steps is always the same. Okay, and we're going to actually show later on how we're going to actually migrate into ECC and how we're going to migrate into S4HANA. We're going to see it in the system. So here's the, here's the four-step process. Okay, first you have to actually extract the data from your old system. You have to extract the data from your old system. Okay, for example, if you have a, like a JD Edwards, for example, in JD Edwards, you have to go to the databases and you extract the data, you extract the data into uh, Microsoft's Excel or into a flat file. Or sometimes we, if it's the huge data, we can uh, uh, get the data into micro, uh, into Access Access database. So regardless how you actually you extract the data, regardless of your system, you have to extract the data first. This is number one. Number two, you have to cleanse the data, do data cleansing. If you ever heard of this word data cleansing, that means you have to bring the format into the same format SAP understands. For example, in SAP, the company code is usually it's a four digits character. Okay, for example, 100, 1000, this is a, a company code. For example, uh, A111, this is another another company code. It doesn't matter. So if your legacy system has a different set of data, it does have a, like, let's say it's five different, five characters for your company code. Then you have to actually change it in a way SAP could understand it. You have to change it to four characters before you upload. So this is what I mean by cleansing, meaning cleansing the data, meaning bringing the data into the same format SAP understands, okay? And once you do this, then you have to upload the data into the system. This is where it's actually different. In ECC, is different than, it's different. So what, what tool you're gonna use uh, is gonna be a little bit different. In ECC, we're gonna see later on, maybe the next sessions, in ECC, we actually use what we call LSMW. It's a tool called LSMW. While in S4HANA, even though we have an LSMW, but we never use it, we use something called Migration Cockpit. And we're gonna see it as well, maybe in one of the the uh, the coming or the future sessions. Okay, so for Kinsel, and after you upload the data, this is how you actually bring the data inside the system. Okay, this is how you bring the data inside the system. Then you have to reconcile. How are you gonna know that you've actually uploaded the, the 500 cost centers? How are you gonna know? Unless you go pull the data from there, and you have to match it apple by apple. Like really, you have to match it against the data that you uploaded. This we call it recon reconciliation. So you're gonna reconcile the data. For example, you're supposed to be you extracted a hundred. Let's say, for instance, you've extracted like a thousand cost center. Okay. You've you've extracted a thousand cost center. Okay. Then you've actually worked in this cost center. You've actually kind of did the data cleansing. You clean it up. You clean it up in a way. Uh, the SAP format, the SAP system will accept it because it's coming the same format SAP understands. After cleaning it up, you came here and you uploaded the, okay, and you uploaded it. You use, for example, you use LSMW or you used, or you use, for example, migration cockpit. And we're going to talk about so many, so many other, other options as well. This is not the only thing. So migration cockpit, or you use, for example, uh, um, IDAC or BDSI, or you use a BADI, use a BAPI or you used a, a custom program entirely. So there's so many different, I mean, it depends on the complexity of the of the for the projects and it depends on the data that we have, but we're gonna be looking into how. We're gonna look into how we upload the data. Here, what we're gonna be uploading. Here, cleaning the data, put it in the right format. Here, how we're gonna upload it into the system, upload it into the system. And once you upload it, you have to actually make sure that you uploaded what you were intending to upload. For example, if you were in intending to upload a thousand, so here, when you do the reconciliation, there's different kind of reconciliation. There's quantity count, 
reconciliation meaning okay i was supposed to be uploading a thousand am i did i upload a thousand oh yeah i uploaded a thousand record that's fine not only this, then you have to have value reconciliation, meaning, okay, the, the cost center that I was trying to, let's say, one of the cost centers that I'm supposed to be uploading is supposed to be, um, um, uh, uh, okay, for example, GNA, GNA cost center for Southwest region. So this is the name. So if it's, uh, if, if it's GNA for X region, it's not South region, Southwest region, then it's not right. So the value, so you have to have the same value reconciliation. Reconciliation, it means we just want to make sure we uploaded what we intended to upload. Okay. And I'm going to show you a very specific example. Okay. A real example about uploading master data. I have like the cost centers. I have, I have the entire project free in my fingertip where we uploaded cost center, material master, customer master, vendor master, GL. We have, we've migrated the entire thing into an, into SAP system from a, uh, from a JD Edwards solution. So I'm going to show you just an example of a real, a realistic example of uploading like a cost center, for example, or maybe customer or, or vendor. I'm going to show you how we can upload it in the system. And it's not an easy task. But it's very methodical, and I'm going to show it to you in both ways. I'm going to show it to you in, 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 in how we upload it into ECC as well as how we're going to upload it into S4HANA. So just stay tuned with me, and let's try to actually make the migration process easy. Thank you so much.